As the man leaps off this cliff, can you predict how long he'll stay in air and the horizontal distance he will cover? Turns out, if we use the principles of projectile motion, we can figure out exactly the time and the horizontal distance he will cover. Let's break this down. A man jumps off from height h and takes time t before he hits the water and meanwhile covers a horizontal distance x. In this video, we want to find both the time and the horizontal distance. So let's get started. The man leaps horizontally with an initial velocity v. This means his initial vertical velocity is zero. As he falls, his vertical displacement becomes minus h. So we can write s equals minus h. Now let's use the equation of motion s equals ut plus one half at square. Here s is the vertical displacement and u is the initial vertical velocity. If we use the values of u equals zero and s equals minus h in this equation, we will get minus h equals half at square. The only vertical force acting is gravity. So the vertical acceleration is minus g, where g is the acceleration due to gravity and its value is 9.8 meters per second square. If we use the value of acceleration in the equation above, we get minus h equals minus half gt square. Now if we rearrange this equation and solve for time, we get t equals square root 2h over g. The time that we found is the time the object stays in the air before it hits the surface of water. Now we have the time, we can use it to find the horizontal distance the object covers. Let's use the equation distance covered equals velocity times time. Let's substitute the value of time from the equation above and we get x equals v times root 2h over g. That's great! We were able to find the time and the horizontal distance that the man would cover before he hits the surface of water. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving me a like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Happy learning!